So this is the Kaliosk from Danny Sound. Let's check out some of what's to come in the video before we get into the features and then into those patches. So working top to bottom, we have a coarse tune, fine tune, button to select LFO range or audio range, our main output, a switch to select from square or saw shaping, and a wave shape that we can do that on manually, CV input and attenuator for wave shape. There's a quirky mid position, which is this kind of clipped out mad triangle square thing. It's just kind of a bonus extra, but I'm glad that they left that in there for more exploration have our volt per octave input, a pulse output with pulse width control, PWM input and attenuator, and then linear and logarithmic FM with their own attenuators. PWM, wave shape CV in, and the FM all have LEDs to show us the activity on those inputs as well, which is really useful. And we start with a sign, switches up, and as we move across this wave shape, it will wave shape to almost the square. You'll see. Kind of a square with a kink on the top. So on the bottom position we've got sine going over to a saw-like wave. And again there's some kinks in there, it's a nice kind of quirk of this oscillator. So we could nicely say envelope that wave shape to kind of mimic the effect of what a low pass filter would do to a square or a saw. Now that in between position, it's going to increase the level, give us some clipped out square, almost with PWM, until we get a triangle wave. Here's that pulse. Pulse width control. Two FM inputs, PWM, as I said, that's the features. Let's get into some patches and see how this thing sounds. So here's a really simple patch that offers us a nice way to kind of mimic the effects of a low pass filter. I'm on the saw shape mode. So as I shape across this sine wave, there's a volt proctive sequencing as well, if you hadn't heard. I'll let you hear it without any shaping first. Now as I shape across, we shape over to that saw. Now by using an envelope at this input, and we can see that activity on the LED. It's almost like opening up a low pass filter and letting that shape through. It's not quite that exact sound, but in practice and potentially an end result, it's like using a low pass filter. Now the square shape. Again, much like using a low pass filter. And this kind of bonus crazy shape in the middle. Yeah, it's not really like a filter, but it's like some kind of clipped feedback madness. So in this patch, we're going to explore PWM, pulse width modulation. Now I'm taking the pulse output from the bottom of the module. I've got a volt per octave signal coming in. And we get manual pulse width control and a PWM input. Let's remove this, taking the attenuation down. You can see the modulation on this LED, which is handy. 
But first let's just sweep this manually. Thins out really nicely. Really croaky, throaty, nasal, glottal passage like pulses. Two much fat squares until they actually merge and silent out. Now let's add some modulation from this LFO. Speed it up slightly. And of course, you can get this to an area that you like. Say a thinner pulse and just add a little bit of modulation. It's very rich thick kind of detune unison vibe we get from the PWM. Let's take the PWM up a bit higher in terms of depth of modulation and increase the rate of this LFO up to audio rates. There's some really great tones to be had. So that's the pulse output and pulse width modulation. So in this patch, I'm using the Kaliosk as an LFO. I simply hit the button to go down to LFO range, have another LFO modulating wave shape and another LFO modulating linear FM. And this is why I like using oscillators as LFOs. All these extra inputs means I can create some long, varying, evolving, very random feeling LFOs effectively. I mean, you can see and hear this shape it's not a sine, it's not a triangle, it's not a saw, it's not a ramp, it's kind of just all over the place, but we could slow it down. You get some nice little jumps and pokes and slow rises. So there you have it, Kaliosk as an LFO. So here we're going to explore FM and I've scaled these two signals on the Mordax data. It's not that one is a lot louder than the other. The top wave, the sign, is our output. The green trace is shown as the rate of my sign FM modulation, which is external to the module. I just wanted to get them both on there, but get this nice and big so you can see what's happening with the FM. Now patching this modulation into linear FM, 
going to turn up the attenuator we can hear these nice soft quite glassy musical fm overtones and it's only the kind of last bit of the depth control that gives us that rise in pitch so you have a good amount of range of linear fm with no pitch drift involved which is great for dynamic modulated fm patches now let's drop the rate of this frequency modulation and get it tuned into something musical So again, some really nice softer linear FM. We've also got a log response FM input, which will give us that pitch drift. There's a lot of classic exponential and log FM type patches as well. So let's increase the depth and play around with the rate of the modulator. we don't just have to do this over a sign we could have some FM going on and start wave shaping there's a ton of potential options that's just a quick look at FM let's check out the wave shaping and some of the other features in some more patches as well so here's just a quick little trick with the Kalios to get some more wave shapes out of it by self patching here's the sign and we're on the bottom switch position wave shapes over to a saw I'm going to patch the pulse back into the wave shape CV this is a separate output and we get this kind of fuzzy edge on the top But depending on the pulse width, it kind of switches between the actual saw and the sign. This kind of little fuzzy bit that moves up and down the wave. So adding an LFO to pulse width. gives us more shapes to move between when we take this up to audio rate an audio rate PWM is fantastic we've already seen that but let's try it out here where it's patched back into the wave shape for the main out and there we go I'm just playing around with the rate of this external modulation to PWM. Let's try the other wave shapes. That one just kind of turns itself off. Oh, there's some nice shape in there though. It's just another way to get more wave shapes and more options for tonal exploration from the Kaliosk.
that's it for this video on the Danny Sound Kaliosk, available from funk.co.uk, linked in the description. Now go check out the video of the EN129 through Zero Linear FM oscillator, the other oscillator from Danny Sound. They're an amazing pair, but I wanted to present them as individual modules where one doesn't distract from the other in the patching that I'm doing in the videos. However, I will have a video with them both modulating each other coming up soon and another video further exploring this through zero fm but check out the en129 video linked in the description it's probably up on screen right now thanks for watching go support me on patreon if you want to do all that jazz cheers <laughs>